is this thing on? Greetings, weaklings. Well, she's back and better than ever. Did you think I would allow myself to be defeated by you maggots? Did you? While you've been zooming with the Tiger King and getting your savage on with the Tiki Taki, I've been preparing for my triumphant comeback. I'm coming to you live from my top secret she shed. Yes, Miss Honey, I can rock a shed too. And I do it the right way. In animal print. You took over my school and they shut you down. That is because you, Miss Honey, are pathetic. Quiet, you big fat bully. I thought we got rid of you in that atrocious mull. How dare you? You ought to be in prison. The deepest, dankest, darkest prison. I shall have you wheeled out, strapped to a trolley with a muzzle over your mouth, boy. I'm a girl. And you're a bully, so when you talk, all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 You, Agatha, are revolting. And no one even asked you. Wait, how did you... Never mind. You are all a miserable collection of excuses for children. And you, madam, standing there like the squid of squits or its beating heart. But I am a match for you. And I tell you that there is nothing that I shall not do, no length to which I shall not go, no punishment I shall not inflict, no ear I shall not stretch. Rude. This channel is boring me. Okay, let's set it in for story time. And don't worry about the bits you can't, you can't understand. Just let the words wash over you, like music. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say the subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance, they were written that way. Innocent victims of their story. Like Romeo and Juliet. Twas written in the stars before they even met. That love and fate and the touch of stupidity. Rob them off the hopes of living happily. The endings are often a little bit gory. I wonder why they didn't just change their story. We're told we have to do what we are told, but surely sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just because you find that life's not fair. There's a tiny revolt, the seed of a war in the creek of a floorboard. A storm can begin with the flap of a wing. The tiniest might pack the mightiest sting every day. Starts with the tick of a clock, all escapes. Start with the click of a lock. If you're stuck in your story and want to get out, you don't have to cry, you don't have to shout.
dare you pull my plug? Trunch boy, you're a crook. Listen, you little maggot. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong, and there's nothing you can do about it. Do you think that you're an exception? To the rules. In my school? Look at these trophies, see how my trophies gleam in the sunlight, see how they shine. What do you think it took to become English hammer throwing champion? 1969. Do you think in that moment when my big moment came that I treated the rules with casual disdain? Well, like hell, as I stepped up to the circle, did I change my plan? <laughs> what? As I chalked up my palms, did I wave my hands? I did not. As I started to spin, did I look at the view? Did I drift off and dream for a minute or two? Do you think I faltered or amended my rotation? Do you think I altered my intended elevation? As the hammer took off, did I change my grunt? From the grunt I had practiced for many a month. Not a jot, not a dot, did I stray from the plot? Not a detail of my throw was adjusted or forgotten. Not even when the hammer left my hands and sailed higher up among the stands. Did I let myself go? No, 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 no. No. If you want to throw the hammer for your country, you have to stay inside the circle all the time. And if you want to make the team, you don't need happiness or self-esteem. You just need to keep your feet inside the line. Sing, children. Two, three, four. Woo!